There is a place in Palm Harbor that few people around the Bay Area even know about. It's a home for unwanted chimps, gorillas, and monkeys. What's fascinating is that many of the primates housed here were once household names. Our wild side guy, Randy Roush, takes us to a sanctuary that is home to some familiar but not forgotten faces. Good boy. Good boy. It is truly an incredible sight. Debbie, a sanctuary volunteer, hand feeding a 550 pound silverback gorilla. Good boy, we gonna get down? Otto the gorilla is 40 years old, diagnosed with tuberculosis. The animal was to be euthanized, but volunteers at the sanctuary intervened years ago and got him medical attention. The once unwanted gorilla now has a permanent safe home. Unfortunately, Otto's story is not that unusual. At Suncoast Primate Sanctuary, chimps and monkeys seek refuge. There's just so many different uh, personalities here and uh, their likes, their dislikes. And um, it's just, it's almost like working in a rest home for humans. What's interesting about all these chimps, gorillas, and monkeys is their past. You see, all these guys and girls either come from private homes, television, or even movies. Remember Tarzan starring in those movies in the early 1930s? Well, Tarzan may be gone, but guess what? Cheetah, Tarzan's sidekick, is very much alive. He's one of five chimpanzees used during filming. Cheetah is now 75 years old. He was used in, 19, uh, in the 1930s. Uh, he starred with Johnny Weissmuller in uh, the um, Tarzan movies. When Hollywood was done with him, he he came here. Remember Otto, that 550 pound gorilla with TB? Well, who can forget him in those luggage ads pushing around suitcases? And while it may appear creative using primates in film, volunteers at Suncoast say the animals are often forgotten and sometimes become homeless. They, they treat them as a, a disposable property. They're property more than uh, beings. And making them beans is where Suncoast comes in, giving cheetah Otto, 21 other chimps, three orangutans, 18 small monkeys, a bear, and even some goats, a place to call home. Need grapes. Grapes for a snack later. 150 volunteers lend a helping hand here. The sanctuary relies solely on private membership and is not even open to the public. Primates here have unique enrichments to keep them occupied. Sean, put it on the board, Liz. Volunteers allow chimps to paint. Some with success and some, well, they just like the taste of the paint. That's very pretty, Bob. Why? Oh, oh, don't eat it. Either way, the idea is to keep these guys active. Chimp artwork is sold and proceeds go to maintaining the sanctuary. And sanctuary volunteers know that until people stop having primates as pets, the sanctuary will have to make home for more unwanted faces. In Palm Harbor, I'm Wild Side Guy Randy Roush for Tampa Bay's 10 News. So sweet. It costs about $60,000 a year to keep mm. the sanctuary running. If you would like to make a donation or just learn more about the primates, log on to TampaBase10.com, go to Life on the Bay, and then scroll down to the wild side icon. I didn't realize chimps live that long, 75 years I old. I didn't either. See the gray beard? Gray beard, yeah. <laughs> Happens to all of us, and Randy I guess. just looked like a, a loving dad holding, holding that little guy. Give me that bottle. It's very cute. I know they probably can't do it, but I wouldn't mind seeing that. I wish it was open to the public. I know there's a reason it's not, yeah. I suppose. But, I would uh, like to see it, too. Wouldn't be bad. It'd be very interesting.